Hello friends! In today's video, we will be prepping for my puppy's first birthday party. If you like to see me blowing up balloons, setting up decorations, baking, and getting the party together, then just keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super duper excited about this one because it is going to be Marshy's whole birthday party prep. If you don't know and you're new here, I have a Bichon Frise puppy. Oh, why did I say it like that? I have a Bichon Frise puppy and I got her um, around October 24th last year so this year we are celebrating her birthday this is my first ever like birthday party planning like from start to finish full out all on my own but of course Marcus is going to help a lot with a lot of the different things that we're gonna do for our little baby girl so you guys stay tuned for that but I also want to give Nom Nom a huge shout out for sponsoring today's video Nom Nom is fresh dog food made by real people who really care. It works by going to their site and filling out a short quiz about your pup. Your inputs will help Nom Nom tailor the amount of individually packaged meals and also recommend recipes for them. Which one do you want? Want turkey or beef? These meals are then sent straight to your door. Tonight for dinner, Ooh, I let Marshmallow like choose between either the turkey, turkey or beef, and she really wanted turkey tonight. The food is full of fresh proteins, vitamins, and nutrients that pups need to thrive. You ready to eat? Huh? You ready? Y'all know that I want to give Marshmallow the absolute best, and I want her to be healthy, and also have a positive relationship with her food. As y'all can see, she's so excited, and with Marshy being a picky eater, I am so happy that she loves these new recipes from Nom Nom. So now it is the next day, and this morning for breakfast, I'm feeding Marshy the beef recipe. It has fresh ground beef, rusted potatoes, eggs, carrots, and peas, which are all of her favorite things. I usually store her meals in the freezer or leave them to thaw in the fridge until it's meal time. I should also mention that Nom Nom uses real science and insights to create these meals, and I love that you can you actually see the fresh you vegetables in her food. Come on. Treat your dog to food that's good for them and good for their health. Get 50% off your first two week trial of Nom Nom by clicking on that link down below in the description box or you guys can go to trynom.com slash YLB. Thank you Nom Nom for sponsoring today's video. And now y'all let's begin the party prep vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Right now I'm currently in Hobby Lobby and as you can see from the title, we are throwing Marshmallow a fun and spectacular birthday party. The theme is s'mores and like a woodland type vibe. So I'm here picking up a few things and I decided to go ahead and start vlogging. So one of those things are these balloon flower clips. I think they're so cute and I want to make them with like a dark brown cream balloons like that. So I think this will be enough and it's only $1.99. I'm also also thinking about getting this balloon strip. Don't know what this will be for, but I might take it back. Um, and then one other thing I have for Marshy's party are these little straws here, which kind of resemble tree bark in a way, even though I don't think they're supposed to be that, but it goes with like our vibe. So I was looking to see if they had brown balloons. I do not see any. But I did see this happy birthday in black. I kind of like that. Kind of, kind of like that. So I might pick this up as well for her. Oh, so cute. And then I was thinking about getting a number one because it's her first birthday. But they don't have it in like the colors that I want. Like I would want it to be cream or brown or even black and they only have the gold and silver here.
All right, y'all. So, of course, we are still in Hobby Lobby, and I'm just picking up a few of the things that I felt like I would need to fully execute my vision for Marshy's party. So, like, the colors I'm trying to go for, like, the browns and the natural tones, because it's all a part of that s'mores woodland vibe. And I will say that Hobby Lobby really came through for me in terms of finding, like, party supplies. This was the number one place where I was able to find, like, 80% of the stuff that I needed, and everything was super duper affordable. So, if you're playing planning a party anytime soon I definitely recommend starting here first it was really good prices baby are you liking have you met someone tell me now I better start crying make them feel bad before we leave town Ten, also I don't know if any of you guys peeped the date like this footage was filmed on July 28th y'all which is insane to me because the time that I'm recording this voiceover right now it's November, so it's been months, like months later, this video has been in queue for so long and I'm so happy that I finally get to share it with you guys. But geez, it's been a long time coming. I'm delusional, delusional. I feel like I've walked around just about this whole store and I've also spoke to someone they don't have brown stuff y'all at all so I'm just doing one final quick check because I really need brown balloons these just won't work you know and they don't have the brown napkins so I guess I'm gonna have to order a few things off Amazon Ooh, I kind of like this color that's pretty, but I did just buy some creamy looking ones at Hobby Lobby. They do have black. I feel like these balloons here are so pricey compared to like Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby. Um, so, so yeah, they don't have what I need. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave and maybe order it off Amazon, maybe even check Walmart, because Walmart usually has good party stuff. Guys, so I made it back home and I wanted to share with y'all the invite that I created for Marshy's birthday party last night. So of course, y'all know I always use PicMonkey to create any of my little graphics. And so I found this template on Pinterest actually. And I'm going to show you guys my whole Pinterest inspo board next. Okay, don't judge how many tablets I have up. I'm like doing 3,000 things at once today. But I typed in like some more invitation, free printable, and then I saw some different cute ones. So um, instead of paying for, let's say, this one and just changing up some of the stuff, I decided to go ahead and use like this free image right here. Printed it out. Actually, I didn't print it. Just downloaded it into PicMonkey and i used some of like the same type of words that they had in the other invitation because i like the little puns so life is more fun with marshmallow so joint oh she's lucky <laughs> yes mommy's talking about you she's like right here underneath me as i do anything but anyways y'all so there actually was a fire right here if you remember from this one there was like a little fire. So instead of leaving the fire there, I just covered that up with the same color um, background and put a picture of Marshy instead because I felt like she needed to be on her invitation. So it just says, join us to celebrate Marshy's first birthday, when, the time, and then I also have the address right underneath here. And then it just says, we can't wait to party with you. So Marcus and I have been sending these out to like a lot of our family and friends. And then I also want to share with you guys my Pinterest board where I'm getting like all my inspo for this party. So check out these little doggy hats. They're free printable. I think they're going to be so, so stinking cute. Next DIY is the balloons so you guys saw the little balloon flower thing that i got from hobby lobby so i'm gonna make 
little flowers using these type of colors so i'm looking for this milk chocolate dark chocolate almond and i kind of have that creamy color already i don't want to do gold so if you can just ignore the gold one those are the colors that we are going for so i'm gonna try to find these on amazon real quick because i love the way this looks it's just so cute to me. Next, let's get into like all the treats and stuff that we're making. So because it's just like a short little party to celebrate Marshy, we're not doing like any big food. These were the treats that I was gonna pass out or like favors to all the puppies that come. But instead of doing this, I'm going to do like a little gift box for the puppies instead. But my sister and I, we're gonna be making these cookies with the paw prints on them, possibly. We're going to be making the ones with the little bonesies on them. So cute. And some of these will be dog friendly and some of them will be people friendly. <laughs> like these cupcakes, for example, are going to be people friendly. So it's cute. So we're gonna try to make them look mostly like marshy. So I love the idea with it being like a woodlands theme to have some little pretzel sticks and call them twigs for people to eat. We're gonna make these s'more pops. Um, and so those straws that I got earlier that resembled the bark, this is what I was trying to imitate. And I think it's gonna look really, really nice. So we're gonna make those little treats. Oop. We also are going to have these little sweet treats, which are gonna be called fire logs. I feel like that's so cute. Then the last couple of things that we're going to be making are these woodland berries. So those little craft cups that I bought are going to house all the fruit. We're going to make little pinwheels, which should be super duper yummy with like turkey and lettuce and tomato, like little wraps. And these are actually called tree slices. So I thought that was adorable. So here is the cake that we are going to make. And this is going to be totally dog friendly so literally just for marshy to eat and enjoy also another thing that didn't pull up on my pinterest are these cookies but it's a lot of cookies going on so we might just pick two designs to keep it simple but yeah y'all that is my puppy potty info board okay you guys so i am at the store and they have the cutest little doggy birthday stuff and you guys know i'm throwing marshmallow a birthday party so i thought it was so cute that they actually had like all of these items and stuff this is a little backdrop they have a, a banner um another puppy banner like look how cute and this little cake topper it's my bark day a bow tie bow tie this is what i'm this is what i'm thinking i'm actually gonna get and it says let's potty i feel like that's so cute so i might get this for her even though i'm not really trying to do gold um i'm gonna grab it I also have these little treat baggies down here that are just so adorably cute for three dollars i don't think i'll need these though okay y'all so i had to update y'all on this because i went to a black owned gift shop to pick up these beautiful balloons for my maid of honors little sister's graduation party so while i was in there tell me why they had brown balloons let me show y'all they had brown balloons in there and i could not believe it because i have been looking everywhere for brown balloons as you guys know i even went and ordered them on amazon and they came in i literally ordered them today i wish i didn't open them up I might still be able to take them back, but look. Brown balloons, you guys. I'm shook. I'm gonna open one real quick. They had them at the black owned gift shop here in Georgia. And I Okay, they're giving red on camera. They're they're giving red. This is coming in about to ask you. Brown to you? Yeah. I would tell them it looks okay. rust to me. Like I know. Oh. Like very autumnal. It's beautiful though. 
I don't know. Look at your vocabulary. Right? Like, it looks like, um, or like a burnt orange, rusty color. I don't know. Yeah, the only undertones that you put in the sunlight, but you put it back up. See, it's something else hitting it that's making it do that one color. You put it down, look brown. Yeah. Well, there we have it. Oh, indeed. I know you're hungry. Well, I'm hungry. I'm gonna look, taste of something, too. Hi, you guys. Okay, so today we are gonna be preparing to make all of the treats for Marcy's birthday party. It has been a minute since I last filmed footage for this video because we actually went ahead and postponed her birthday party, which was supposed to be in August, like the Saturday before our wedding. It was just way too much going on, so we had to postpone and reschedule it to tomorrow, which will be October. Tomorrow is October. October what, baby? 22nd. So tomorrow's a birthday party. Um, Marshmallow's actual birthday is August 24th, but I did not get Marshmallow until October 19th of last year. So even though it's not quite her birthday, it's really close to the time where me and her became united and she became a part of our family. So August and October are still special months for us. So we're making it work. Unfortunately though, because we did reschedule the date, a lot of people aren't able to come this time, but it's totally fine. This is something that we said we wanted to do for Marshy. So we're making sure that we get it done and we do it so she can have her first birthday party. Um, despite it being late, you know, so. The show must go on. I'm just trying to like take everything out of the bags, y'all, so I can see what I have. Cause like I said, it's been a minute since I even thought, you know, have been in this party prep space. I have balloons here, more balloons, more balloons. I have so many balloons, balloons, balloon clips. have a happy birthday banner and also a let's party banner which is cute okay i'm gonna have to do the rest of this like i gotta clear off the table y'all i gotta clear it off So again, this is the day before Marshy's big first birthday party and once I cleaned off the table, it was time to go ahead and start baking and I began with the most important thing which is marshmallows cake. My sister actually found and sent me this recipe so I'm attempting to bake it today all on my own. It was quite fun, I'm not gonna lie, but I did struggle with quite a few things and I got frustrated in between, but it is kind of all a part of that baking process. I just hope that as time goes on, I'll become a better baker. So with this cake being like the main thing that is for Marshy to enjoy, I was trying my best to put a lot of love into it. And it was great that the recipe already had like things that Marshy loves. Like this girl loves peanut butter so, so much. She's even like looking up at me as I say those words right now. And carrots, um, she loves eggs. So I was like, okay, she is going to love this cake. She is not gonna wanna stop eating it. But spoil alert, why did Marshy not eat her cake at her birthday party? Like she turned her nose up at this cake so bad. <laughs> and I I was just shook because she usually likes all of these things. So I'm like, did mommy just do a bad job at baking it? It was funny. And then the next day, because like during the party, we were all like, okay, well maybe she's just too excited. Maybe she'll eat it later on. So even that night and the next day, she did the same exact thing. She would not eat this cake. It was too funny. So it's like, I did all of this stuff and Marshy probably would have been happier with just like a regular old tree. It's, it's just too funny. I'll, I know for next year.
I did it! <laughs> Mommy did it. So now that the cakes were in the oven, or the one cake, the one layer, I felt a huge sigh of relief. I was like, okay, I did it. Um, now I can move on to the icing, but I also remembered I still had one more layer to bake. I only have one cake pan right now. I thought I had two. So I was only able to cook one cake at a time. I definitely gotta invest in another one. But here's how it turned out. It looked really beautiful on top. So I was like, oh, okay, like this looks cute. I did that. It looks it looked pretty good. So I was very happy with the results. And I don't know if you guys watch Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beeston, but I love her party prep videos. So she's actually the one who inspired me to go ahead and make one of my own today for Marshy's um, birthday party. And I hope you guys really, really do enjoy it. So now we're making a human tree and these are going to be just some cute little sugar cookies. I think I showed you guys earlier that I wanted them to be in a little bone shape. Karen, my sister, was actually gonna help me make all this stuff from scratch, but we were literally running out of time. So I was like, let me just make things as easy as possible and pick up like the store-bought packages so that, you know, we're not spending all night in the kitchen baking these things for this party. But you guys let me know down in the comments, like what type of baker are you? Do you buy things like the prepackaged stuff or do you make things from scratch? I wanna be the type of baker like my sister who makes things from scratch. And I hope I can get to that point someday. But even doing like these prepackaged things was hard enough. So now y'all, I am trying to make the cookies and I don't know, for whatever reason, the shape wasn't coming out. Like when I pressed it down, you know, usually, the excess just kind of like peels away super duper easily. Got a little frustrated with that. So I was like, let me move on to the cupcakes, let the dough cool in the refrigerator for a little bit. Maybe it just needs to set and then we'll come back to it and y'all will see how that all turns out. So now I'm giving the cookies another whirl. I, you know, let the dough kind of sit in the fridge for a little bit, maybe cool off and chill out for a bit. Still wasn't working, so I was like, okay, maybe instead of putting it down on that mat to like roll the cookies and press them out, let me just put it down on the countertop, put some flour down, you know, like things you see people doing. That didn't work for me quite either. So I'm like, you know what? I am just going to punch these cookies out on the sheet and just like remove the excess and hopefully that will work because I'm not able to peel them up properly. So basically what I did was I took a ball of dough and I'm sure all the bakers out there are cringing right now. I just took a ball of dough, took my little spoon that I got from Ghana and I'm just patting it down, you know, trying to get it a little flatter. And then I took my little cookie cutter in the bone shape, punched it down and I'm just like removing the excess from around the shape. 
So yeah, I decided to just like make six of these to see how they turned out. And I'm so thankful I only did six because y'all will see in a second, they turned out terribly. And at that point, I was just like so over them. So the cookies didn't end up being a thing and that's okay. We had plenty of other treats to go around. The cupcakes though, turned out beautifully. So yeah, that was the whole cookie fiasco. I actually wouldn't even recommend buying that cookie package that I got and that whole recipe. I mean, after the cookies cooled down, they were so hard and brittle. I mean, you could hardly bite into them. <laughs> so they definitely weren't soft and gooey, yummy sugar cookies. So definitely not something I'd recommend. But now my sister is here and she's here to save the day, helping me with like frosting Marshy's cake. So the frosting we're usually, we're using is actually made out of potatoes. So if you saw me like peeling potatoes earlier, it was to make this. You basically just boil the potatoes and then you kind of like mash them up or blend them up in your mixing bowl and it creates like a really cool frosting like consistency and we're trying to make or I'm trying to make right now the little face of the cake now one thing about the potato frosting is that it didn't look like as white as Marshy did and my sister was saying that there are special like food colorings you can use to get it super duper white but we just decided to leave it natural and also we didn't have the food coloring at that time like white food coloring so it was like whatever and now we are going ahead and frosting the cupcakes so that they look like little marshies i just want to make your heart sing but you're not letting me all right y'all so it is the next day and it is the official morning of the party so we woke up and it was go time. Like it was time to get all the remaining things done. I wanted to make like all the food fresh and make the balloons up fresh. So that's exactly what we're doing this morning. When I tell you this balloon inflator is like so wonderful in real time. You guys, that is how easy it is to blow up a balloon using this machine. It is so, so cool. I, I'm so happy that I got this. It's one of the best investments that I've made that I feel like I am making into my whole party planning future. <laughs> so yeah, we are blowing up these balloons because I want to create like the flowers that I told you guys about and also like the balloon garland arch type thingy. So these brown balloons are actually ones that I got off Amazon. I ended up going with these instead of the other ones because they were more of like that chocolatey color that I was going for based off of my inspo pictures and then um, if you guys are looking for anything because maybe you're planning a party soon I will have like all the links to everything down below but definitely this boom balloon inflator from Walmart it's only like 15 bucks y'all it is a lifesaver <laughs> So 
so this is how like all the balloon decorations turned out and at this point I was getting super duper excited because everything was looking really really cute and surprisingly like doing this whole balloon arch thingy was so so easy y'all I was like okay it seems really intimidating at first but with like the little balloon strip it's so easy I mean it's just so easy i definitely recommend getting like that little balloon strip stuff and it's so cheap at hobby lobby i'm sure you could even find it at the dollar tree So now that the decorations are all complete, it was at this point 11 a.m. and the party started at like 1 or 1.30, I can't remember. But I was like, okay, I gotta hurry up and get the rest of this stuff done. So now we're making the s'mores pops. And again, this is another like quick and easy little treat to make. All you need are graham crackers, s'mores, and of course, I said s'mores. You need graham crackers, chocolate, and of course, marshmallows. So you just dip your marshmallow into your chocolate, and I melted it down in the microwave only like for like 30 seconds. It was so easy. And then you put that little marshmallow covered in chocolate into your graham cracker mixture. So people really like these at the party. It definitely was a hit, and I think I would totally make these again. So a few of the last things that we're making are like the fresh fruits and stuff. So I'm making these little turkey wraps, which are gonna be called like the tree slices. And my aunt actually showed me how to make these a long, long, long time ago. I think it was for a family reunion. But basically all you need are some flour tortillas or any type of wraps that you enjoy. And then you can put down any sort of spread that you might like. So today I'm using like a chive and onion cream cheese spread. And then um, you put that down and that's what helps like everything stick together really well. And then I put down some turkey slices, spinach, and then tomatoes on the flour tortilla. Roll it up like a burrito and then you just cut it. My pinwheels weren't actually staying together so I had to use toothpicks to secure them. But I feel like that also helped with people like being able to pick them up. So it all just turned out perfectly. And once I finish these, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some of those fresh strawberries. If you remember my inspo picture from the beginning, it was supposed to be blueberries also, but I couldn't find blueberries, y'all. I guess blueberries are out of season, I don't know. But um, I just went ahead and threw the strawberries in here. And this is the one thing at the party that Marshy did like really like gobble up, eat and enjoy, so. <laughs> Has it been since I felt like this about anything? And next, I began to make three little take-home treat boxes for any of the puppies might come. So I filled them out with toys and other little treats that I got like from Trader Joe's. That was super quick and easy to do and the boxes were really cute. So now it's 12 11 and I am packing up my core with all the decorations and stuff. I could not believe that those balloons took up the whole trunk. But I was like, okay, we're going with it. Luckily, I have a whole back seat to work with. So everything was able to fit perfectly up in here, but Marcus also did have to take his car. I commend all the people who throw parties and at the, like at places that aren't at their home because it's a lot to pack up your car and 
get things all together and then get to the location and set up, which is exactly what we're doing now. So we had Marshy's party at a dog park and the scenery was really, really pretty. So we um, had these tables. These are actually tables that Marcus's mom gave me. And if you watch my small business blog, these are the same tables I use there. So these tables are coming in handy, okay? We put the garland along the back, like a balloon garland. And then I'm using these easels from our wedding to string up the words, let's party. I wanted it behind here, but that didn't end up like working. And the easels kept falling down because it was such a windy, windy day, you guys. I feel like whenever I'm doing like something outside, it's always so, so windy. But I'm making the little pretzel cups here on site, which are like the little twigs. And then I put the strawberries and the silver thing over there on the side. And then I put all the wraps at the top. And because we kind of like had this whole little area to play with, we decided to make a little photo backdrop area over here with the um, Let's Party things. And this is how like the cake turned out. Got like a little crack in it with the potato, but I didn't even have like the time to fix it. The cupcakes turned out so cute. And so I'm gonna show you guys how everything turned out now. Okay, you guys, we just finished the party and it was a success. It was such a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, Marshy had a great time. She's super duper tired right now. She looks so cute in her outfit. I had a good time like party planning this whole thing. I think it all turned out really, really cute. I will see you guys later. Bye guys. I'll just leave you guys with one more clip of our sweet little baby. This is on the day I brought her home and she was just fighting off sleep until she couldn't anymore. Literally the cutest thing ever. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye friends.